Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal with another highly requested clay block video. We've done tons of these. You guys are always requesting tons more. Go check out the clay block playlist if you haven't seen a bunch of those. Your favorite might be in there if we've done it already. But recently I did a quick video on this Norma Eco Speed or Echo Speed. It's a light projectile, what is it, 24 grains. We chronographed it going seven, over 1,700 feet per second in a bolt action. Uh, but a lot of you guys said, well, you know, I'd rather have my 22 mag. Or, oh, I'd rather have that than the 22 mag. Tons of people on both sides. So you guys said, put it to the test on the clay block test. And that's what we're going to do today. For the 22 mag, I've also got some Norma. And this is a more standard weight. What is it, 40 grain? Yeah, 40 grain. Box says 1885. We're going to go ahead and chronograph it uh, quick while we're, at, while we're out here. So let's see on the clay blocks what's going to do the most damage. I'm going to guess the 22 mag is going to do the most damage. It's a little bit faster and it's heavier, so that should be the obvious answer, I think. I don't know, but that's why we do these things. But... I'm curious to see what damage these fast 22 LRs are going to do on the clay. Is it going to be close? Is it not going to be close? Is it going to go all the way through? Is it not? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. I tell you what, uh, let's do the 22 mag first. I got two of these 10 pound, 10 pound blocks. We'll take a look at what happened with the 22 mag, then we'll look at the 22 LR, see what happens. Comment down below. What you think is it going to be close or is it not going to be close at all i think i dropped it i think the 22 mag is still going to be uh, quite a bit more boogie quite a bit more sauce quite a bit more um uh what, what should we call it um i don't know tearing upage of the clay huh well let's see what finds out we'll see what happens see what we find out 22 mag first I'm going to go back to like 15 yards or so. All right, before we fling these boo lots, let's check out the chronograph speeds on both of these things so we know for sure what's actually happening. This is at like two yards away. There's your 1700 right there. All right, we saw the, the speed there on the 22LR with that fast normal stuff. Now, let's see the speed on the 22 mag here. This is my Savage Model 93. Oh, 1918, even faster than what the box said. So, 22 mag on about 200 feet per second faster and heavier. But let's see what happens on the 22 mag with the clay here. All right, here goes the 22 mag. This is my Savage Model 93. See if we can hit that clay about 12 yards or so right here. Give some more zoomies on it. Five zoomies. Pretty center shot, let's go check it out. I think that was pretty cool. All right, so walking up to the clay here, pretty uh, pretty big smash on that baby. Big old hole coming out the back. The slow-mo will definitely tell us something. Let's walk around the back and see what the back looks like. Huge, huge hole coming out the back. Definitely might not expect that from a 22 mag, but hey, that's what happened but let's go to a clean one for the 22 lr see what happens i'm gonna leave them side by side like that so we can compare them is the 22 gonna go all the way through like the 22 mag did i think it probably will but we'll see what happens should be pretty cool all right here's on now here goes the 22 lr fast one we can hit it dead in the center there. Not hit the camera down there. Hmm. 
Pretty center shot. Impressive too, I think. Let's go check it out. All right, so check this one out now. There's the 22LR. Actually, a quite a bit bigger hole in the front than I expected. That's pretty much a tennis ball torn all the way through there. Pretty wild. Let's go around the back. Now, coming out the back, this is where it gets very interesting, guys. I did not expect that. Look at the exit of the 22 long rifle. Much lighter projectile against the exit of the 22 mag. So, much smaller, seemingly less violent hole on the back. And when we come over here to the 22 long rifle, look at that in the same screen there. Much more violent exit. That's a bigger than a softball size exit right there. I would not have guessed that at all. That is pretty wild. Pretty crazy results. I moved it over here because of better lighting over here. But that 22 LR really impressed me, especially this exit. Man, that is just intense right there. But appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys requesting this video. If you guys are having a hard time finding ammo, check out one of my resources, Ammo Shop Online. They got rimfire stuff, 9mm 223, a bunch of the hunting ammo I've been testing. You guys know I've been picking it up from Ammo Shop Online. So can't find what you're looking for, go check out Ammo Shop Online. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed. We'll see you guys on the next one. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy stuff. I love doing these videos. Hootie hoo!